what's going on, man? How are you? That's good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just um, I'm getting ready for this interview right now. Yeah, yeah, that's today. That's today, man. Nah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I just um, you know, it's a little bit of a little bit of nervousness, but I think it's a little bit more anxiousness too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a big opportunity. It's a big opportunity could lead to some big things. Yeah, exactly. You know, because you know we've been doing these videos for a minute. And, you know, we got a good little following, good little following. We got like 40, 50K subscribers across social media. You know, we got a handful of subscribers on YouTube and all that, but just looking for something more, you know, and all that don't pay the bills, you know. <laughs> I got loans, I got all that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to make some money with this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's gonna be big, man. It's gonna be big. But um, yeah, I'm 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 actually here. I'm getting ready for this interview right now. I'm about to walk in. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm hit you up when I uh, when I get out. All right. All right. Cool. Lance? Yeah. Um, but uh, where can I set up? Set up? What, yeah. what are you setting up for? My, uh, my presentation. Your presentation? Yeah. <laughs> no. We don't have any time for presentations. Let me give you some advice. You have about 15 seconds to impress this man, so what I would suggest is you work on your opening speech before you think about any presentation you're going to be doing, because like I said, we don't have time for that. So you can have a seat, and we'll be right with you. Okay, um, well, uh, my film idea is kind of based around uh, the new age entertainer. Um, so basically about how everybody's trying to break into the entertainment industry through social media. Um, you know, basically anybody who has a phone now is like a photographer, a okay, model. that's enough. And Thank you. I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. Okay. Um, Thank you, that's, Lance. You can follow me. That's it? Yes. Um, but I wasn't I wasn't really finished yet. I mean I still had a, a lot to tell you guys. Oh, your time here is done. You can follow me. But I'm not I'm not really finished yet. No, you're finished. You can follow me. I'll escort you out. I mean, but I, I kinda just started. I I'll mean, escort I, I still you have out. Excuse me. Kind of. What is it? Lance? Yeah, Lance. Okay. Let me let me explain something to you. You have a lot to learn about this industry. And today class is not in session. Now, you think you know about this industry, and you think you know about film, right? I do, I, I know a lot about film. Uh, you, you, know, you know a lot about film? Yeah. Just off of the tone in your voice, I know you don't know anything about this industry. When you can tell me the highlights, the dark crevices, what it takes to balance a budget, sit down and have a meeting with actors and actresses, produ producers and a production team, what it means to walk that line, still hold on to your creative thoughts, your vision, and still appease and please these production houses. You mean to tell me that you have what it takes to go out, create a film, get people to spend their hard-earned money that they work for day in and day out. And while they're in that theater, you keep them on the edge of their seats. 
You mean to tell me you have what it takes? There are so many moving parts in this industry. Every day, somebody wakes up and they wanna make it in this industry. They get the bright idea, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna get a camera, I'm gonna get a few friends to write a script for me. That's not the way it works. It's a give and take industry and you're not giving me anything. So you must not be taking away anything from the table. When I say to you that you don't have the slightest clue what it means to be the main event, you have to be the one that everyone is expecting as soon as they walk in the room. Every time that TV comes on, every time those theater curtains open. And sir, I don't feel like you have it. There are a lot of moving parts in this industry. Lance, brother, you're just a prop. Once again, thank you. I'm sure we'll be in touch. Thank you, Lance. I'll show you out. That better not be another TikTok scene. <laughs> nah, it's just. Nah, it's just Dante. What'd he say? He was just telling me about how uh, Lance was meeting more earlier today and he didn't want to chill with y'all today. Okay. Yeah, how'd it go? Oh, well, needless to say, it kind of sort of went. Mm, he messed up, didn't he? Let me finish what I'm saying first. No, he didn't mess up, okay? Mm -hmm. They just didn't take it. So he messed up. Justin, this is exactly why I wanted you to go. Look, it wouldn't have made a big difference, okay? And besides, I was spending time with you anyways. Mm -mm, no. Yo, what's good with you, Bonnie? I'm not in the mood. Mm -hmm. I need you to be more aggressive. Oh, well, I mean, that's all you have to say. That's no. not my style, but... With your brand. I need you to be more aggressive with your brand. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you, Justin. You guys had a little bit of success online, and that's it. It was one meeting. It's every meeting, every audition, every time. It never falls through. Oh Look, first of all, this isn't just some random group that I'm a part of, okay? This is my family. Lance started it. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be where we are right now. And where is that? Oh. All right, look. Come here. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. It's just, I know you have all this talent and the skills and the looks. You have it all. And I just want you to really go through with this. Okay? All right, class, I just want to let everyone know that I finished grading your final exams. I have your exam grades back. As soon as you receive your grades back, everyone's free to go. Enjoy your summer.
Hey, Dante, can I talk to you for a second? Seems like you was having trouble on this exam. Yeah, I mean, I thought I did all right, but I guess I was wrong. I really don't think you should be too hard on yourself because I actually can tell that you're really paying attention. You're actually one of the only students that I noticed that is paying attention while I'm up here. Just to give you a heads up, I'm not gonna fail you. But you do realize that you're gonna be taking my statistics course in the fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this means that you should take advantage of my office hours once you start having trouble. Once you start getting into trouble or feeling that you don't understand the material, come to my office hours. Yeah, man. I'll think about it. Dante, you think it's a game. I'm, I'm really serious. Once you start feeling like you don't understand the material, come to the office hours, and we both can figure something out. I could, I could really see potential in you. But All you right. gotta see it in yourself. Alright. Yeah. If I need help, I'll let you know. Alright. Have a good summer. Alright, you too. Oh. Yeah. 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 What's good, man? What's going on? What's going on, man? Like, yo, what happened to you yesterday? Yo, you know they be having me working slave hours at the mall. True, That's true. yesterday. I went straight home and went to sleep. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Yeah, so how'd the meeting go? I'm guessing we didn't get it, huh? Nah, no, nah, we didn't get it. But um, I got an idea, though. Idea for something like what? I'm explaining to y'all when we all get together tonight. Hey, true that, true that. We out though. Need a haircut too. Yeah. <laughs> so what did he say to you? I mean, he basically said that I didn't know what I was talking about. Well, damn. Yeah. I mean, I had an idea though. I'm thinking that maybe we can make our own movie and just make it about like us trying to make it or whatever. Cause I mean, that's essentially what we trying to do anyway. And it's based on our real lives. True, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, we had to exaggerate it a little bit, but um, I think it'd be dope. I'm down. You already know I'm down. I'm down too. All I'm saying is just, I want to love it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would say that. Yo, I'm not trying to film that. Like I don't want no parts of that. What you mean? I'm trying to get the people what they want to see. Lord, right. you, you need to chill out for real. <laughs> whatever, whatever. But listen, um, I just take that cheese steak and I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm ready. All right. I mean, <laughs> once you get out, like I'm trying to be out. Like I got work early tomorrow, so. All right, all right whatever. Um, I got toilet paper in your bathroom. Yeah. I'll be blown up our bathroom, bro. Yo, just go, please, just go. Jeez, I'm crazy. But um, uh, but yo, you done, right? Yep. Last final back to bed. Uh, I mean, how you make out? Mm. I think I did well for real, but mm, that's how it is. Just ready for the summer, though. That's what I'm talking about. What's up with this road trip? All right, I'm coming. Hey, Joe, but thanks for the ride home. Yeah, no doubt. What you doing tomorrow? 
Uh, I'm working tomorrow, man. Overnight? Nah, nah, nah. I got a double shift tomorrow from 7 to 11. Yo, bro, you know you're going to be beat, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm about to go home and sleep right now. You got to get some sleep. Yeah. But, um, you know, I'll let you know, like, the schedule for next week and everything like that. All right, dog. All right. No, thanks, man. Yeah, no doubt. I'll see you later. All right.